Welcome to our introduction to collections, tags, and related items. It's one of five modules in our unit on managing Zotero collections. In this module, we're going to compare and contrast the basic building blocks for organizing your Zotero library, collections, tags, and related items. You can watch the whole video or use the links to skip to specific sections. We'll be covering where to find collections, tags, and related items in the Zotero interface, and how each of these three features are different from one another. Collections and tags are used to organize your Zotero library, and they can be used together or separately. Collections and tags can also be used to keep track of your work or your workflow. The related items feature, by contrast, is a simple way of showing that items in your library have relationships with one another. Each of these features has its own home in the Zotero software interface. Collections appear on the left-hand side of the window, and they appear as folders. It looks similar to tools you might organize files on your computer, but it works a little bit differently, and we'll cover that in detail in another module. Tags appear in the area on the bottom left of the Zotero window and typically appear in an alphabetical list. Related items are not always visible in Zotero. Relationships are created at the level of individual items in Zotero, so to see them, you need to have an item selected. Then you'll see the Related tab appear in the Information panel on the right side of the window, and related items will appear there. Collections and tags are used most often in Zotero. There are a couple of main differences between the two. First, collections are hierarchical. You can create collections within collections. Collections are like containers for your Zotero items. Tags are more like descriptive keywords for individual Zotero items, but unlike collections, you cannot create sub-tags. There is no hierarchy. Related items can also be helpful for showing that things have a connection to one another, but they're less associated with organizing your library. Now, if collections, tags, and related items is overwhelming right now, don't worry. If your Zotero library is small, say you're just using it for a couple of papers and you have 10 items or less, you may not need to use any of these features at all to keep track of your content. But as your library grows, if you're doing an entire degree, for example, your Zotero collections will start to feel like a pile of loose papers. When that happens, these features will become indispensable. So in the rest of this unit, we'll be talking about each of these tools in more detail. And by the end of unit one, you're going to be a Zotero organizational power user. See you there. <laughs>